Hey guys, welcome back to part two of our Slackware edition where we were configuring DNS server. And so let's start and our Slackzilla is ready. And so what we need to do is, and yeah, one more thing I would like to mention. In the last video I mentioned it's Berkeley's internet name daemon, whereas it is Berkeley's internet name domain. So <clears throat> just a correction and so this uh, basically what is dns dns is domain name system and it helps to convert ip addresses into names and names to ip addresses because uh, humans are very bad with numbers uh, because the longer the number is and the more we use to forget them so what happens uh, the names we are good at names but computers are good at numbers so that's why a computer remember numbers and they translate those numbers into names for human readable and vice versa. So basically domain name system is uh, the server or the system which helps interpret uh, both for humans and for computers. So please remember a few things. Uh, DNS works on port uh, UDP 53 and TCP 53. Uh, UDP 53 is used for queries and port TCP is used for zone transfers. Uh, DNS is, there are basically 13 root domains. It starts from the root and then it goes to um, TLDs, top level domains. Then there are, um, there are then subdomains so it's it's kind of a, a hierarchy uh, it's kind of an uh, upside down tree so it starts from the root you can just google uh, the pictures of dns and their root servers and you'll get an idea anyway there are around 13 root servers all uh, around the world and they're just distributed and so that's the backbone of our internet also so let's start and to start uh, bind we have already installed bind package if you remember in our last video and the main files of bind are uh, in etc name.conf and in var slash named uh, let me show you so if we go to etc we have this name.com file and this is the file we will be configuring it's a very simple file okay and in var named caching example this is the main directory will be where we will be configuring our zones so how to do this it's uh, you need to remember the host name it's Slackzilla and the fully qualified name which has host name and the domain name with the dash F it's Slackzilla dot local domain <clears throat> okay so let's go back to our etc and as always copy name.conf to name.conf.org original use vim to name.conf okay and we are going to configure a very basic uh, DNS so this thing means query source address on uh, for like port 53 it's like if there is a firewall between you and name server you want to talk to you you might need to uncomment the query source so anyway we don't need this we don't have we are not in dmz okay and it's a cache only name server config you can just go down so it's pretty straightforward okay what i'm going to change is i'm just going to change this I'm going to change it to suit my IP address, which is 192.168.1.100. So it's 1. 
168.192 in dash addr dot arpa okay okay what these files are these zones basically these are uh, this is the forward zone and you can give this local host like name to as per your liking you can change this name but it should be the same in var slash named i'll show you the file anyway this is the forward zone and this is the reverse zone and <clears throat> this reverse zone has this you can see this uh, file well this name can be anything but this files should have the same name so this is you can see that the forward zone has this localhost dot zone and the reverse uh, zone has this file name name dot local so let's go just save the changes var named in caching and if you remember that our forward zone was a name dot local so we will just go to name dot local sorry reverse na uh, reverse zone was named dot local so we will use forward zone first localhost dot zone okay and over here we can see ttl time to live soa stands for start of authority uh, origin is localhost like what is the name of our uh, domain uh, basically in our name server and it's going to be local domain instead of localhost and let me change it to local domain basically how it starts it's like uh, local domain uh, let me show you slack zilla dot local domain dot it has to end with dot because it's the root server we need to mention like it starts from dot then local domain is the tld and then dot and this slagzilla is the subdomain it's kind of that then you will give a tab and uh, like support or root dot local domain dot so this is the email address where you will receive an information it can be root or support anyway so this is how we set uh, the first line then over here we remove this remove this and remove this so ns stands for name server in is internet name server this in address so our name server is pretty simple it's slackzilla dot local domain dot and the address is one nine two one six eight dot one dot one hundred let me check in yeah it's slackzilla <clears throat> okay uh, let me go back okay and then we have okay so everybody can just know that slackzilla is also the same as slackzilla.local domain so this is how we set up forward uh, zone if we have in future we will see email uh, server and we will add mx records and other uh, if we install web servers we can install web servers uh, to this uh, dns so that's why uh, it's good practice to start dns earlier okay now we need to check the reverse zone and reverse zone is named dot local 
then name.local and all I need to do is it's going to be the same press enter slack zilla dot local <coughs> domain dot and root local domain dot slack zilla dot local domain dot slack zilla dot okay and here we need to mention last uh, our address of our net uh, IP address so it was 192.168.1.100 so 100 we will add here it's a PTR it's a pointer record it's pointing to our IP address so and this is the reverse zone like from IP to uh, resolution from IP to name okay that's pretty much it so let's check if our dns is working okay two things to remember uh, how we can uh, first we need to go to etc hosts file and make sure that okay it's automatically added so you can see that it's local domain so we don't have to worry about that okay next thing is etc nswitch.conf this file is very important also and it shows that what things to check first so it will check always hosts file then network files and then services it's uh, the ns switch file basically it tells us which files it, it reads what thing first okay now let's uh, start bind and to start bind we will use uh, slash etc rc dot d rc dot bind and at the if we start it like this it will give us permission denied and that i just wanted to show you guys so <clears throat> just ch mode executable and try to start this time okay so bind has started and ss hyphen antlup grab 53 will reveal that it's listening okay so let's try to change our resolve.conf with our new dns server Okay, first we need, uh, let, uh, let's not change this first. Let's check if ping is working with Google. Okay, working. Okay, what will happen if I remove this resolve.conf? Entry. Okay, I have removed this. Sorry. It should not be able to ping now. Well, strange, but let me. It should not actually. Uh, let's make it. okay let's try to ping that's awesome it's still pinging how uh, let me just 
just a minute. So I'm back. There were some issues with the file. So now we cannot ping uh, google.com, but we can ping the IP address. So it means that we still have internet connectivity, but there is issue with DNS. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change this resolve.conf with our newly created uh, DNS server. Now try to ping and it starts working. It started working, it means that our DNS is working fine. Let's ping hotmail.com. It's working. And let's ping cnn.com. Okay, so our DNS is working and how we can check it, check this, you can use dig uh, slackzilla local domain. Okay. Okay, I think there's something wrong. Let me check. Okay guys, so I have fixed the error and let me show you the error. It was uh, vim localhost.zone. Here we need to add only local domain, uh, not the fully qualified domain name, uh, like with host name and uh, the domain name only domain. And that's it. Over here, Everything was good. The only issue was this local domain thing. Okay, then let me show you back <coughs> this uh, name dot local. And over here you can see that we have this local domain only. Okay, so everything looks good. And now if we clear and dig slackzilla dot local domain and here we have no errors and answer is one everything is good uh, vim and resolve.conf we already have this let's ping google.com <coughs> and it's working and let's uh, ns lookup slack zilla and here we have it it's working perfectly fine and dig at uh, let's say slack zilla dot and it's working fine so that's how we set up uh, DNS. Uh, please do take a look at uh, Wiki for DNS for more information. Uh, this is a very, very uh, basic intro how you can set up a DNS server in uh, Slackware.